it is Saturday, January 21st, 2023. I'm Chris Remote. Welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. It's a Saturday puzzle today, which means a themeless crossword, presumably. And uh, it's also a day on which I might be um, interrupted for a bit. There might, I, depending on how long it takes me to complete this, I might have to step away and complete the recording later. Although from your perspective, uh, that should be essentially seamless. So hopefully it uh, shouldn't cause any issues. In any case, this potentially briefly inter interrupted edition of The Daily Solve has been brought to us by Laura Saxon, Victoria Rojicka, Kathleen Quinn, and, as always, the invaluable Timothy Mark and the indomitable Shoalmaster. So thank you so much to the five of them, benefactors of The Daily Solve Patreon campaign, for their generous support in bringing us this series, this channel, this particular solve. Uh, I do very much appreciate that. And if you'd like to join their ranks as a benefactor and get access to the Daily Solve Let's Check the Crosses mug, you can of course find that at patreon.com slash daily solve or in a link in the description field underneath the video. And uh, if you would like to become a patron at any level and get all of the bonus videos that have gone up on the channel to date, as well as the new ones that go up each week, you can find that at that same link, patreon.com slash daily solve or under the, in the description field. And uh, yesterday I solved another acrostic puzzle, catching up on my acrostic backlog, so that will be posted to the Patreon campaign tomorrow. If you're a patron, look forward to that. I really uh, enjoyed it. I'm really, really, really getting into those acrostic puzzles. Years of never, of not ever noticing they existed have given way to a new um, puzzle type that I really enjoy. Well, new to me anyway. Uh, all right, so uh, do also subscribe to the YouTube channel if you've not yet done so. And Let's get on with the solve, shall we? Oh, you can also join the Daily Solve Discord chat server. I didn't mention that. There's a link in the description field to that as well. Nice, friendly community. All right, so let's solve the crossword. This was constructed by David Distenfeld, uh, who's constructed around half a dozen puzzles for the New York Times, and it was edited, as always, by Will Shorts. So let's start solving and see what sort of themeless challenge we have in Tourist. <laughs> I was going to say it's store for us today, and my brain strangely replaced store with tourist, which my eyes glanced over at the time, I suppose, because of the tour shared syllable. Anyway, presumably that's, that's agra. Um, so does that in four letters, does that help? Top story, a something drudgery, a chore or Oh, I can't see it. Pickled watermelon parts. Oh, rinds. That's funny. This came up recently because watermelon... Oh, I can't... This might have been in an acrostic, actually, speaking of the acrostic, but I can't remember if it was the acrostic or the Times crossword, but uh, watermelon rinds were marked as inedible, and I said, well, they're not... They're inedible in their natural state, but you can pickle them, and then you can eat them, and they become edible. A uh, place for a prayer... An, oh, a prayer, someone who prays rather than a prayer. So a place for a prayer might be the apse of a church. There we go. Word with round or head. Round a trip or head trip. There we go. Top story. So what is this? Oh, attic. The top story of a house. Right. Okay. There we go. Not the lead news article, but the top story of a house. Drudgery is a gross, that's drudgery, that's a groan. I'm sure there's an obvious word I'm missing here. Sorry about that. Part of La La Land, Tinseltown? Right, okay. Because La La Land refers to LA, the sort of doubling of the LA, alluding to the, you know, kind of up in the clouds quality that people there potentially have. And then one neighborhood in it is Hollywood, which is referred to as Tinseltown because of the glitz and glamour. So there we have it. Tinseltown, comma, La La Land. Drudgery. Oh, the grind. The dr Yes, the drudgery of one's job, for instance, the grind. There we go. I don't know why that took so long, but we finally got there. Here we have their sales rose in 2021 and 2022 after two decades of decline. CDs. Um, that's interesting. I guess they must be going through some sort of minor resurgence in the way that vinyl did. It's sort of it's sort of funny because I think CDs are much less romantic than vinyl. I mean, I I grew up collecting CDs. I mean, it was a huge deal for me to buy new CDs. So I guess nostalgia can can do anything. But I but you know because they are sort of digital in nature, it feels like well you might as well just have files if you're going to have 
a digital thing, but then if you're going to reach back to something obsolete anyway, why not do vinyl, which has the kind of big album art and the romance of the format. But anyway, I, it's means meaningless what I just said. It's all completely subjective. So that's interesting. It's, I wonder how I wonder how long that trend will hold. Okay, Charles Schwab offering an index fund, maybe? Brother from another mother, maybe. Uh, there was something like this recently, and it was gal pal. It was, it was sister from another mister, but same idea. Um, I'm not sure. Make a scene aptly. Act up, right? So if you make a scene, you cause a fuss, you act up. But also, it's apt because a scene is where one would act in a film or the, you know, a, a part of a film or a play. Comment following a cue. I'm on, you might say, when it's your turn to act up in the scene. Uh, blue is, so blue could be, obviously blue could mean the color blue or sad, but it could also mean lewd or, um, you know, material that, that's a bit uh, adult. Okay, ID on a filing. SSN, social security number maybe? Comes down hard, hails. Uh, so coming down in the sense of precipitation from the sky, little tiny little ice balls. Tippy tops are acmes, the highest point of something. Oh, half sibling? There we go. That was this is what I was trying to do with the the sister one, and then it was it turned out to be a friend rather than a family member. And so this, <laughs> this time I was trying to do it the other way, and it turned out it was a family member. All right, medicinal amount is a teaspoon, could be a dose prescribed. Touchdown follower often. Um, it could be touchdown in the sports sense, or it could be touchdown. Is it an aircraft makes touchdown or a spacecraft? Extreme exterior. Not sure what's going on. Title of respect could be Shri. I think this was in the crossword yesterday, maybe. Um, fitted with footwear, shod. If you have shod a horse, you have fitted it with footwear. You've given it horseshoes. End of week greeting. I, the something? Hmm. B is very surprising. Not sure what's going on there. Tourist spots, maybe. On the struggle bus, it might be said. Something in having a hard time and something like that. Does that work at all? Disposition. Could be your, your mean... Or something like that. Does that work at all? QB stats. I don't know. Interceptions? Georgia team to fans. I'm not sure. The one that comes to mind is the one that comes up often in the crossword, which is Bama. But I, would, I don't think that would be plural. That would just be it's abbreviating the uh, state name. Oh, wait, no. Sorry, this is Georgia. That was strange. I don't know why I thought it said Alabama. Sorry. Okay, touchdown follower. What is this? I don't know if interceptions is correct. I was hoping I'd be able to confirm or deny it, but I don't seem to be able to. Off ingredient. Oh, this is a an insecticide or, or sort of a pest repellent. And I think DEET is a compound that's in such substances. Okay, that I'm fairly certain about. Let's see. Call them on an airport flight board informally. ETAs, estimated times of arrival. Oh, it could be ETDs, estimated times of departure. That's one of those that you just never really know because it's, they're both there. You need to get the cross. Playoff format, semi-finals. That's not really a format. That's a, that's a match that occurs uh, or, or a pair of matches, I guess. Quarter pounder qualifier. The P being capitalized makes it look like quarter pounder is a brand name. So the, the McDonald's hamburger. What would the what would a qualifier? No tomatoes? Oh wow, that actually fits, right? Okay, so you could order your quarter pounder with no tomatoes, and therefore you've you've qualified the order in some way. Transition of oh, maybe it's not that, sorry. 
with something maybe because transition effect famously used in Star Wars films is a wipe George Lucas oops sorry George Lucas established that pattern in the original film Star Wars with the you know screens wiping rather than cutting or cross dissolving and they also there are also cuts in those films but uh, he often uses wipes which I think had a kind of feeling of being sort of outdated and he intentionally chose that style to evoke kind of older film serial adventures but anyway so quarter pounder with cheese there we go that's it another quarter of qualifier qualifier quarter pounder with cheese there we have it okay some um nuts and curs are i mean they're both they both have the i mean a, a gnat is a pest and a cur is a dog that's aggressive so they're both sort of animals you might not want around you it's plural so maybe s at the end aggregate or aggregate it could be a verb or a noun or sorry it could be a verb or a um actually or a noun or an adjective aggregate could be a noun or an adjective hmm I'm not sure simu blank star of shang chi and the legend of the ten rings i mean i know this is a film that came out within the last few years but i i have not seen it and i have no idea um What is going on with this word? I mean, it feels as though the B is clearly the beginning of a word. The best end of week greeting. I mean, it's going to be something around Friday or the weekend or something. What is it? I don't know. Tourist spots, maybe. Yeah, I look through these. None of them really came to, came to mind. Result of being fired. Ash, maybe? Something is literally burned. QB stats, right? It could be interceptions. Comic actor who co-created Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt. Tina Fey. Tina Fey co-created that. So what about this C line? A buoy? No, that's not really a line. What am I doing? <laughs> that was strange. I saw the answer anyway. Um, I was thinking maybe multiple buoys connected with a line to indicate a boundary, but I don't think that's what this is. Um, ahoy, you say it. It's a line that you deliver on a ship. Does that help this at all? Or this on the struggle bus, it might be said. I'm really crashing up against the, the rocks of these long answers here. Tourist spots, maybe. And it, there's a question mark. So this is punny in some way. So it's not going to straightforwardly mean places tourists go. So what would a tourist spot mean in a punny manner of fashion? I'm not sure. Playoff format. Wear and tear. Use. Okay, that makes this look like the F and the S are part of different words. I suppose they don't need to be, but... It's more likely. Uh, join forces is to unite. There we go. Top notch is elite, maybe? Top notch, top notch. Oh, 49 is also top notch. A1? That comes up sometimes. Flight. Oh, you're, you're on the lamb. You're, on, you're, you're in flight from a crime or something. Does that work? Box with a view. Yeah, a loge. So loge seating in a concert hall, for instance, could be a box with a view, right? Is that true? Web portal released the same day as Windows 95. Okay, it must be MSN, the Microsoft network. I didn't remember or know that was the release the same day as Windows 95. Um, oh, this doesn't look right, though. Maybe this, maybe, okay, so something's wrong. First winner of the Canadian Comedy Awards Person of the Year 2008, right, okay. This isn't gonna. This isn't possibly a name. Um, maybe loge is, is. Maybe I'm using that word incorrectly. Words of encouragement. I don't know. This could be wrong as well. Or one of the two of them. MSN surely is correct. Oh, Elizabeth of Wandavision. I right. I haven't seen that, but I do. I can picture who this is in my head. Olson. Elizabeth Olson. Okay. It has a new meaning. Oh, right. Neo. It has a new meaning. In other words, neo literally means new. 
I think that's what that's saying. Feature of the Vietnam Veterans Memorial. It's a wall, right, with names, I believe. Bordelais for one. A wine sauce. There we go. That's what it is. A wine sauce. And then, really? It is a wine sauce? Yes, it is. Home country poetically. One's native land. I don't know if that really needs to be poetic. That seems like a that seems like a phrase someone could say without it being calling attention to itself poetically. Maybe land is something more poetic that I don't have. Memo letters. All right, maybe it is because memo letters could be as to. Kaylee Blank, co-star of The Big Bang Theory. I actually know this because someone, because I said, um, because Kaylee, this person, Kaylee Cuoco, came up in the crossword several weeks ago and I said, oh, I wasn't sure who that is. And someone said, oh, I was surprised you didn't know who that is because she's on The Big Bang Theory. And then I said, well, that explains it because I've never, I've never seen The Big Bang Theory. But now it doesn't matter because um, I remember this name from last time. And I'm sure I've seen the name. I'm sure I've seen the name around for other reasons as well. A quick pick-me-up is a, I don't know. They're far from basic acids. So on the on the pH chart, um, acids are the sort of opposite end to bases. Okay, quick pick-me-up. Oh, calf, caffeine. Caffeine is as a drug, is a, is a sort of, you could describe as a pick-me-up. Pick so the quick version of caffeine could be calf, as in half-calf. Uh, natural gas emission question mark. Right. So which part of this is the pun? Oh, native soil. Okay. That is a bit more poetic, right? That makes more sense. That's more poetic than native land. You probably wouldn't say this is my native soil unless you were being intentionally evocative or, or, or poetic as the clue says. Okay. Natural gas emission. What is this? Electrically flexible, AC-DC. So both alternating current and direct current are supported by this electrically er, electrically flexible um, setup. So, oh, a belch maybe. Quick pick me up. Oh, right. Okay. It's not calf. Oh, that's funny. It could be, I think. It's plausible that it's calf for caffeine, but it's not. It's cab for a taxi cab. Um, why is it quick? Is it because it's the shortened version of taxi cab, I suppose? So, and it picks you up. So a natural gas emission could be a belch and fancy is posh. And then I guess the, I don't know why you need these extra wise fancy. I'm sort of supposing a sing-songy sort of fancy, very, but I don't really know why you need that necessarily. Posh means fancy even without the, without that sort of little bit. Uh, in any case, memo letters ASAP as soon as possible. There we go. That could be on a memo. All right, great. So that corner is, we have two corners of the grid cleared out and we have this swathe sort of uh, painted through the puzzle of empty cells. So is there anything we haven't seen? And I think it could be a sum actually. Didn't I think this? Yes, this is plural. So does that simu, yeah, I don't know, it could be chu or something maybe, or su, hsu maybe. I don't, I'm just trying to think of possible names. End of week greeting. This, this is the most confounding clue in the puzzle for me because it just seems like the, how many end of week end of week greetings are there I mean there can't be very many I'm, but uh, I don't know I'm probably missed I'm probably thinking about it incorrectly in some way okay on the struggle bus it must be said or it maybe it might be said quarterback stats are right so I thought this could be interceptions is do I have any, I don't really have anything else in the grid to help confirm or deny that, unfortunately, but it probably ends with an S. Like Turkish coffee, it's strong. Yeah, I've made Turkish coffee occasionally. When I made it, it was Armenian coffee because it was, because <laughs> the coffee itself was sold to me by Armenian coffee. And while I think the actual substance itself is essentially indistinguishable from Turkish coffee, it is very important politically and culturally that you don't, that you refer to it properly as Armenian coffee or Turkish coffee, as I learned uh, from that experience. Illmatic wrapper. Uh, Nas. I, I, 
Last time I said this, someone linked me a video that demonstrated the proper pronunciation of this name because it was you know, quickly mentioned at the beginning of one of his songs. And now I can't remember, so I'm going to be second guessing myself. And I apologize if I mispronounced it. Some fellows informally best, <laughs> I was going to say best mans. That doesn't really work, does it? Um, on the struggle bus, needing, no. Hmm. I don't know. A nitwit. A dolt or a twit or something? Words of encouragement. Do I think this is two different words or do I think it's a single word with an S? Top notch. If this were A1. Oh, what was this again? The Canadian Comedy Awards Person of the Year. I, I mean, you know, presumably I'll recognize who this is when I see it, but I, but I'm not sure off the top of my head. Um, A1, does that, just trying to think, because there are names that end with two N's, I'm just trying to think if I can think of who it is, I don't know. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. this were Loge, this could be Seth Rogen, he's Canadian. Okay, there we go. I'm pretty sure he is anyway. So, top notch. Uh, maybe this isn't an... Oh, why did I put an E here? That was strange. Oh, because I had A1 and I didn't fully delete it. I guess top notch is aces, maybe. That could work. Words of encouragement. Odes? I don't know if that's an encouragement, necessarily. I mean, it is the... It is the official poetic form of the New York Times crossword, but I wouldn't call it encouragement. So if this were, oh, Olay's in a, in a um, you know, sports fans in an arena could be chanting Olay, Olay, Olay to encourage their team. So then this could be adult, a nitwit adult. And this could be, oh, postdocs, some fellows, right. You could be a fellow in a, in a university uh, department in a, in a um, uh, postdoctorate. Uh, graduate. So, okay. So let's see. Oh, people, tourist spots, maybe people, something. So on the struggle bus, not doing so hot. Ah, okay. There we go. There we go. Touchdown follower often. Oh, extra point. Oh, right. That's a, that's a thing in, um, in uh, gridiron football. So, okay, so this is Shabbat, Shabbat Shalom. This is, it's okay. It's, a, it's, it's, uh, it's Jewish. So I was completely, like I said, I was thinking about this the wrong way. And I, I was right. That, that was the case. I was, I was right only in the sense that I was, you know, wasn't doing anything right whatsoever. Um, yeah, okay. I was just thinking about this completely wrong. I was entirely in the mode of somebody greeting someone at work and saying something like, thank God it's Friday that celebrates the end of the week. Completely, completely irrelevant to what the answer ended up being. Boy, that gave me, that was a tough one. Okay, so this, this, is, this is making reference to the, the Jewish Sabbath, which is Saturday. So there we go. Okay. Disposition. Oh, one's bent. One's sort of, ah, she has a, she has a pleasant bent. I don't know that you would really say it that way, but, <laughs> but uh, you know, there's a better way to phrase that that I'm failing to do at the moment. So quarterback stats are interceptions after all. Georgia team to fans of dogs, maybe? I'm guessing it's sort of dogs spelled in this way. Tourist spots, maybe. People watcher? Right. People watches. If you people watch, you tourist spot. Very clever. Completely missed the implication of that, but that's very good. Okay, playoff format could be best of seven. There we go. I see it. I hadn't noticed we were filling this in. I probably could have gotten that a little bit earlier, but didn't notice. Oh, gnats and curs are biters because a gnat will give you an insect bite and a cur, an angry dog, could bite you as well. All right. Some... I am not sure what that is. Part of a cold shower, maybe. Oh, I haven't seen this clue, actually. Part of a cold shower... Or a cold shower? I'm wondering if there's some sort of pun thing going on. 
where is this with you? Oh, right. I already looked at that. Yeah, okay. Alternative to breadcrumbs and some gluten-free recipes. Cheerios? Is that something? I've never heard of that, but I suppose that makes sense. What are So Cheerios are oats or something? Is that gluten-free? I, anyway, this isn't good at all. Ick, maybe? Oh, I haven't seen this clue either. Earring Magic Blank, 1990s doll that developed a cult following. Hmm. I don't know. I've never heard of this. Earring Magic Cat, maybe? It's just a name. It's a, it's a name starting with K. It's blank real. It's... Yeah, maybe not. That isn't good at all. Ach, A-C-H. Sore spot. An ache. Earring Magic K. I don't know. Some. Oh, some. A bit. Not very much. Just some. Just a bit. It's been real, you could say. A sort of informal farewell. Earring Magic Ken. Is that a Barbie Ken, maybe? This isn't good at all. Ick. Part of a cold shower, maybe. Ice, ice pellet. Oh, a cold shower from the sky. So... Hail. Wasn't there something? Yes, right. We had uh, we had hail here. Um, oh, so Simulu. Okay. Also a perfectly plausible name. So I, I think that's likely correct. And there it is. I struggled with that, didn't I? So <laughs> Shabbat Shalom was my was my nemesis here in this puzzle. And uh, people people watches. I also found difficult. As, as not doing so hot. I mean, all three of these took me a while. But but the end of week greeting felt like I should be able to just instantly get it. So it was the one that felt very frustrating. And in retrospect, I'm not surprised that I was on the wrong track. But I wish I would have been able to to sort of infer what this was going for. That would have been nice. But absolutely didn't until, until it was heavily crossed. Um, yeah, I mean, I found that a tough Saturday puzzle. This was, this was sort of how I think of a Saturday puzzle being. You know, you can, you can put some things in the grid... Uh, but it's going to be giving you a relatively, you know, it's, it's not insignificant level of challenge throughout. Uh, there, is, there wasn't a point at which I think I kind of just crossed a, a, a tipping point and everything fell into place. Uh, then I was, I was definitely solving, doing real serious solving the entire time. And, and that was, uh, like I say, that's, that's, that's often how I think of Saturday puzzles as being less punny than a Friday crossword often, although there were some puns. And here we had our natural gas emission belt. That was clever. Uh, what else did we have? Result of being fired, ash. That's a pretty standard kind of crossword clue. Um, the ash being used in that way. Quick pick-me-up cab. This one I wasn't 100% certain about, but I think it just means a shortened form of taxi cab. Tourist spots maybe being people watches is very good. I really like that a lot. I think that's very clever. Anyway, there we go. That was the Saturday puzzle. Hope you enjoyed it. I didn't get interrupted after all. So there we have it. I'm a straight solve right through. And um, I'll be back tomorrow for the Sunday puzzle when we will solve a much longer themed grid, the jumbo sized grid. So join me then. But until that point, please have an excellent remainder of your Saturday. Take care. Mm -hmm.